Dr. Kerry Johnson. Kerry is a former professional tennis player. He toured worldwide in the late 70s on the international tennis circuit. He was on the adjunct faculty at Purdue University and is the author of five books, including this outstanding book that I have read called Mastering the Game. Dynamic, motivating, charismatic, commanding. These are the words audiences use to describe Dr. Kerry Johnson. How to reach your clients, how to understand what they're thinking, how to get inside their heads. Do you realize when you're on the telephone, you're only gleaning about 35% of the overall meaning in a conversation? You buy that? That means unless you're eyeball to eyeball with these people, that means belly button to belly with prospects, toenail to toenail with clients. That means you're missing about 65% of the meat of that conversation. And even a sharp college boy like me who is senior class president two years in a row <laughs> knows unless you're face to face at the right time, you're missing too much in this business. Before we start this program, you know, I've actually done a lot of research on y'all, and it finally hit me circling uh, uh, Brisbane, Australia last Thursday night on my way to Tokyo, a psychological technique that will determine whether or not you're going to make it big time or you're going to be delivering mail for the Postal Service, and I'd like to find out who the real tip top of the producers are. Ready for this? It's kind of a psychosocial technique. When I say go, I want you to put your arms up just like this and then cross your fingers. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Now look down and see which thumb is on top. Would you please? Which thumb? Right, right thumb? Left thumb? Which one is it? If you have your left thumb on top, I want you to look at that sucker just like this. Would you please? My good friend, Harvard psychology professor, Dr. Fingertip Farquhar says, if your left thumb is on top, he says... This means you're sexy. <laughs> Stand up, would you please? Stand up, actually, come on. Face that way, would you please? I, I don't know if you all saw this, but I saw Terry switch thumbs. That's okay. <laughs> Any both thumb people here? Both thumbs together? Yeah, far, well, there you go. Farquhar's, this means you're a great thinker. You look pretty sharp, by the way, back there. And how many of you have your right thumb on top? Which other two, please? Farquhar says, if your right thumb is on top, this means you think you're sexy, basically. <laughs> Dr. Kerry Johnson's credentials are as impressive as his message. As a past professional tennis player, he was involved in intense tournament competition. As a psychological researcher and consultant, he brings new competitive ideas strengthened with real-life application. 83% of consumer goods in America are purchased by women. 83%. Deborah Tanner's research, John Hopkins University, has now determined that most of you men think of your wives as your best friends. Is that right, gentlemen? And Bill, you're darn proud of it, aren't you? Darn proud of it. Would you also believe, gentlemen, your wives do not think the same of you? It's hard to believe, isn't it? It's just hard to believe. Oh, you want some proof, do you? Okay, here it comes. If you're male and married, raise your hand right now. Male and married. Come on, this has got to be a full participation program. Male and married. Okay, now put them down. Now watch what happens. Look around each other. If you think of your wife as your best friend, raise it again. Look, more hands went up the second time than the first time. A lot of ex-wives are best friends with these guys. I don't know what that means. Okay, now here's an important part. Ready? If you're female and married, raise your hand right now, please. Female and married. There's absolutely no purpose to the question except that David here want to know who the single women were. <laughs> there you go, buddy. This is you. Yeah. I'm trying to help you here, okay? Yeah. Okay, it's going to get tough for you. It's going to get hard. One more time, women. Raise your hand again if you think of your husband as not just on the weekends. Not only brings you flowers, but he's always, always, always your best friend. Okay, ma'am, freeze right there. Don't even blink. No, put your hand right back where it was. Right back, or no, put it right back, right there. Can you get a picture of this lady right here? No, you put it right, leave. you leave that right there. Can you get a picture of her on the camera? There she is. Whenever you see a woman with her hand halfway up, that means she's sitting next to her husband. That's what this... <laughs> Are you married to her? Is that your wife? Is that? Oh, yeah, see. It, 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 three things a woman cannot stand. You make the mistake once, she'll correct you. Make it a second time, she'll do what I call a BBD. She'll go to a bigger, better deal. 
Now, I got to tell you, this is really serious stuff. Women, you got to help me out with this because I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm a guy, I will never know. So you clap or boo, whatever. If you think it's not true, just say no to me. I don't care, it doesn't matter. But give me some backup, which these guys need to know if it's true or not. Number one, you men give women advice when they never ask for it in the first place. Woman, is that true or not? Yes or no? Number two, you men interrupt women while they're talking. How about that? Is that true or not? What do you think? Isn't number three the worst, though? I mean, really. Even though men look like it, they really don't listen when women talk. What do you think? Is that true? What do you think about this? Well, you know, maybe I'm being too tough on the guys right now. How many of you men think you're awfully darn good listeners? Would you raise your hand, gentlemen, please? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's fair. In that case, gentlemen, think of the last time you had a conversation with a woman. In the middle of the conversation, you heard a pause and thought, uh-oh, I've just been asked a question. <laughs> Yesterday, we had a fantastic seminar with Dr. Kerry Johnson. We had over 300 people in the room, the most we've ever had. We, people were standing outside the door. They couldn't get in. They were just very enthusiastic, and the information was fantastic that he gave. He really gave a lot of interpersonal skills that you can use in your business. He helped you with, with how to sell better to your customers. And just in general, everybody left with an upbeat feeling, but they learned an awful lot in the one hour that we had them, and we're definitely going to have them back. His unique speaking style incorporates group participation, humor, and dazzling graphics that rivet the audience's attention. I've been talking about trust for the last hour. Trust is the most important thing that you do, but wait. How many of you, show of hands, know exactly, pragmatically, step by step, with every prospect, every client you meet, every thing you see, exactly, you know, how to get trust no am i speaking a different language here is this are you hearing swahili come in my mouth right now the most important thing that you do are you saying to me right now that you don't know how to do it is that what you're saying i want you to watch what bob bramlin and i do i want you to listen don't listen to what we say just watch us please good to see you good to see you gary now when was it we played at the shangri-la in oklahoma five years ago was that the young ages meeting yes that's neat now you're no longer involved in that are you uh no i'm not <laughs> Uh, who's, who's picking speakers now for this next couple? Because you were so good at it. You were a fabulous host. Uh, Jeff Jalone is doing that now. Jeff Jalone? Yeah. That's neat. Now, how many attendees do you have there now, these days, when you have a meeting? Um, about 115. Do you really? <laughs> That's great. Do you t always take your golfers, uh, or your speakers golfing? Sure. Do you? Sure. I'd like to show them a good time. Oh, I had a great time, too. You, really? you, just, you just drove the crap out of that ball, too. I mean, you were a great golfer. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> But well, you play a lot, don't you? You play like every two or three days? Oh, I, I've played every day since yeah. I've been here. <laughs> yeah. I thought you did, yeah. <laughs> Give me a hand on that, would you please? My name is Jonathan Weaver, president of Peak Performers Toronto. We put on live seminars, and Kerry was one of the best investments we've ever made. We look forward to seeing him again, and if that's any indication of a fear you might be having about looking bad, choosing your speaker, Kerry's the right choice. Selected by the USJCs as one of the most outstanding young men in America, Kerry teaches that the difference between success and mediocrity is small. but. He helps his audiences gain and maintain that winning edge with people. The rave reviews, the rapt attention, and the repeat engagements have made Kerry Johnson a sought-after speaker throughout the world. Call now to book Dr. Kerry Johnson for your next meeting.